What is up you guys? It is Taylor and today I want to make a video on a question that I get frequently from other trans brothers and so let's do this. I always get asked how do you get on testosterone? Well from my understanding there are a couple different ways that you can do this. Um, obviously it varies a little bit from state to state and I can really only speak from my own experience um, but just to slightly go over the general one that I did not do because in my state it wasn't an option um, here's what I know about it and it's not much informed consent um, from my understanding you can simply go to I don't even know where you go like a hospital a doctor I don't know and you basically in the simplest terms I'm sure there's more to it you sign a paper saying hey I know that this is what testosterone is gonna do to me and I still want to do testosterone and get started on this so I'm gonna sign this piece of paper and then there you go send you on your merry way and you start testosterone like I said I'm sure there's more to it but I don't know because I did not actually experience that route when I first came out as being transgender, I had no idea what the next step was. And so, really, Google and YouTube were my best friends. And I got on Google and all my questions, I'm transgender, what do I do now? What next? Um, how do I go about getting on hormones? What do I do? Um, because for me, I knew that being on testosterone was something that I wanted to do. That was the end goal, and no matter what anyone told me, no matter anything I knew that being on testosterone is what I wanted um, if informed consent is an option in your state and you are hundred and ten percent sure that you want to start testosterone you want to start hormones and that is your goal then yeah I encourage you to check it out learn more about it um, it probably saves you money in the long run like go do that if you are hundred and ten percent sure that that's what you want sorry my face is really itchy and I don't know why but if there is any smallest, my dog had to make her appearance in the video like usual. Um, but anyway, if there is like the smallest hint of doubt in your mind that you, you don't know if you want to start hormones, you just don't know, um, then I encourage you to go the route I did because in the long run it will help you figure out what you actually do want. So for me, what I did is in my state, Nebraska, you have to go to a therapist and um, basically get a letter from them that you will then give to an endocrinologist saying that you can start hormones and so I got on Google and I googled LGBT friendly therapists in Omaha Nebraska because that's where I live obviously insert where you live if you want to go about doing this um, and I encourage you to not please don't go with the first one on the list um, because from my own personal experience I called like the first lady on the list and she was like really old and when I talked to her really monotone and I don't know about you but I don't want to spend my money on someone who is gonna talk to me like this for a whole entire hour and not give a fuck about me so yeah I didn't go with her not only for that but also because she wanted a crap ton of money for one session and live on my own didn't hit the lottery a few weeks ago so no I don't have money to just like throw to people but yeah so there are therapists out there that people in general that just want to take your money and they could really give an F about you so make sure that you call around like find a therapist that vibes with your personality because in the end you have to go to this person a few times a month or however long it may be so you might as well somewhat enjoy going uh, my therapist I found her name is Michelle she's really legit we're like the same person kind of our personalities anyway she has very dry humor and she's very sarcastic and for the most part I enjoy going to therapy and I only say for the most part because I am not a person who likes to go and talk about deep stuff and the feels with someone that I'm not close to not related to I don't know so I hate that part of therapy but her in general she's a really nice lady and I like her and I wouldn't change a thing about my choice in therapists and about how I went finding one. So Google LGBT friendly therapists in your area, call around, email around, find the right fit for you and from there you will obviously set up your first session and you will start going to this therapist 
And back to, like I said, if you are not 110% sure that um, hormones or testosterone is your end goal, going to a therapist will obviously help you hash out those feelings and emotions and you know, help you figure out what it is you really want to do. From there, if hormones is what you wanted to do, then in the end, you're going to get a letter from that therapist anyway, so really it's win-win. But yeah, back to it. So when your therapist gives you that letter of recommendation or whatever the crap the letter's called to start hormones, then my, in my case, my therapist recommended two different endocrinologists for me, so I just called the office and went with A, the one I could get into soonest because hormones was really what I wanted to do, and B, the one that I actually got into soonest was the endocrinologist who was more personable and like, just like, nicer and same with the whole therapist thing, I don't want to go to an endocrinologist that doesn't like, get along with me or is rude or just making me feel awkward, like I don't want that, I'm spending money on your ass, like you better like be nice and chill and whatnot. But yeah, so you'll take your letter there and from there you will get on testosterone. Sounds easy, right? When I think back, it is kind of, you know, a lot easier than I would have expected it to be. I mean, I don't really know what I was expecting back in the day when I first came out, but and I didn't know what to expect, like, Transgender 101 is not a class that you get taught in school, so, don't know, I didn't know what to do, so like I said, Google and YouTube was actually how I found out what to do, and I remember specifically Googling something about transgender, like the first day I had come out to my friends and some of my coworkers, and the very first person that popped up was Aiden Dowling, and he is my number one inspiration, and he is actually... I mean, I give him credit for me knowing what I know and getting to where I am because he, check out his YouTube if you haven't, um, I believe his YouTube is Alliance Fear. He is a super big inspiration and if one day I can be half the man he is and such an advocate for this community, then I'll be happy with that. Um, but that's why I want to try to make videos because, you know, maybe there's some young trans brothers out there who are just coming out and they're just getting on YouTube and maybe they come across one of my videos and they learn something and it helps them and that's that's why I'm putting myself out there like not so much in person because I had mentioned before in my personal life now I kind of live it stealth yes um, but online no and the whole idea of do I want to live my life stealth or, stealth or not is something that I'm kind of struggling with because I do want to be a huge trans advocate for all of my brothers. So, hope this video helped. Uh, be sure to like it at the bottom if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I may just want to make her video debut again. Oh, she's so fucking cute.